Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the emergency allotment for the month of August. Guys, more states have been added. We're also going to talk about the summer pandemic EBT of $391 because some states have started paying out. Then we're going to talk about pandemic EBT from last school year, if there's going to be some this year, as well as I have some places that you can get some gas cards. Yes, they're still giving out fuel cards, honey. Gas prices are still way up there. We're going to talk about some states' SNAP applications are still pending and more, my darling. So if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, you you already know what to do stay tuned your girls got you covered now if this is your first time tuning into my channel hi hello hey friends my name is Shalay, and here on this channel we discuss shopping saving and everything in between i would love to have you a part of my internet family super easy click the big old red subscribe button down below on your end just like that and while you're at it go ahead and give me a like because guys today i am recording directly from my room yeah so if you want to do exactly what i do anywhere in the world grab a copy of my ebook for 14.97 where i teach you the tips tricks and all the money how to make all the money on youtube okay so definitely grab that and if you are an ebt recipient go ahead and grab some amazon prime for free right try it out 30 days free on your girl but without further ado let's go ahead and discuss which states have been approved for the month of august starting with my state alabama roll tide alabama will pay out on september 1st alaska august 1st through the 31st colorado august 7th through the 12th dc with the district's regular issuance schedule hawaii will pay out september 12th illinois will pay out august 8th through the 19th Maryland will pay out August 1st through the 31st, New Jersey, August 1st through the 5th, New Mexico, August 1st through the 31st, North Carolina, August 22nd through the 31st, Oklahoma, August 10th through the 15th, Oregon, August 10th and the 30th, Pennsylvania, August 16th through the 27th, Rhode Island, August 3rd, South Carolina, August 1st through the 19th, Utah, August 27th, Virginia, August 16th, Washington, August 1st through the 20th, West Virginia, August 4th, Wisconsin, August 27th. Next, we'll go ahead and discuss the summer pandemic EBT for $391. Like I said, guys, some states have already started paying out. So let me know down in the comments below if you've already received your summer payments. Now, some states are not going to pay out till like November, December, but I guess it will come right on time, right? Let me know all the things down below. Let's go ahead and kick things off with my state, which will pay out between September 1st and the 30th. Arizona will pay out in late October. California will pay out in November. Colorado will pay out in December. Connecticut will pay out October 29th and 30th. Delaware will pay out the first half August 4th and then September 1st. DC will pay out in August or September. Hawaii will pay out in late December. Illinois will pay out October 29th and the 30th. Indiana will issue a single benefit over the last two weekends in mid-July, early August. Kansas will pay out in a 10-day period in October and November. Kentucky will pay out no later than October. Louisiana will pay out July 26th and then August 23rd. Maryland will pay out July and August. Massachusetts will pay out the 3rd of July and the 3rd of August. Michigan will pay out a five-day period beginning August 20th. Minnesota will pay out the fourth week of July. Mississippi will pay out early October. Nevada will pay out October 14th through the 23rd. New Jersey will pay out September 9th. New Mexico will pay out 30th of September. North Carolina will pay out July 20th. North Dakota will pay out July 20th, August 24th, and October 5th. Ohio will pay out in two equal installments at the end of July. Oklahoma will pay out July 1st. Puerto Rico will pay out July 2nd and the 22nd. Rhode Island will pay out August 16th. And then for children in private schools, August 23rd. South Carolina will pay out August 20th through the 31st. Utah will pay out in July and August. Vermont will issue the entire summer period in August. Virginia will pay out August 25th. Washington will pay out in August. West Virginia will pay out at the end of the covered summer period. And then Wisconsin will pay out in August with a second issuance in October. Next, let's go ahead and discuss regular pandemic EBT for last school year. That was 2021-2022. Now, guys, I'm hoping that EBT is approved or pandemic EBT is approved for this school year. But of course, like with COVID, 
not really going on and students not missing at least five consecutive days of school. Not sure if this is going to be a thing, but there's a lot of talks that's going on regarding how children are going to be fed and the No Hungry Act as well. So we'll see how things go. Let's go ahead and kick things off in my state, which will pay out the benefits at the end of July. American Samoa should issue the benefits in July. Arizona will pay out in mid-July, mid-August. Arkansas will pay out in August and September. California will pay out in August and September. Colorado will issue benefits in mid-August. Connecticut will issue benefits in August. DC should have already started paying out. Delaware should issue benefits in August. Florida, remember, check out my last video for Florida's update and what they have going on. One thing we can say about Florida is they are giving out $450 in TNF. But let me know if you have received your payments for last year EBT. Hawaii will issue out benefits on August 23rd. Indiana will pay out on a quarterly basis. Illinois will pay out on a quarterly basis. Kentucky will issue benefits on a monthly basis. Louisiana will issue benefits at the end of August. Maine will issue benefits July 25th. Maryland will issue benefits in August. Massachusetts will issue benefits on a monthly basis. Michigan will issue benefits on a monthly basis. Minnesota and Missouri both will issue benefits on a monthly basis. Montana will issue benefits in a single distribution in August. And then they also have September and October. Nebraska will issue benefits on August 16th. Nevada will issue benefits between October 14th and the 23rd. And then they also have November 14th and November 23rd. New Mexico will issue benefits on a monthly basis. North Carolina and North Dakota will issue benefits on a monthly basis. Ohio will issue benefits on a monthly basis. Oklahoma will issue benefits on a monthly basis and they should be completed by October 1st. Pennsylvania will issue benefits in mid-August. Puerto Rico will issue benefits on a monthly basis. Rhode Island will issue benefits on a monthly basis. South Carolina should issue benefits between July 20th and the 29th. Tennessee should issue benefits in mid-July, also mid-August. Texas should issue benefits in early August. We have an update coming regarding Texas as well, so stay tuned for that. Utah should issue benefits in August. Vermont should issue benefits on a monthly basis. Virginia should issue benefits on a monthly basis. Washington should issue benefits at the end of July. West Virginia should issue benefits on July 22nd. And then Wisconsin should issue benefits at the end of July. Wyoming should issue benefits in August as well. First, we're going to kick things off in Waukegan, Illinois. Now, this first story is for my seasoned seniors. That's right, that are 55 years old or older. Right now, Waukegan, Illinois is doing where you can get free gas cars. Now, you do have to apply for these gas cars as well. They are going to be worth $40. They are accepting applications right now. And then between August 5th and August 8th at that time, they will go ahead and select 200 winners for it to receive the $40 gas cards. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, girl, it's only $40, right? But hey, all you have to do is fill out the application and then your name goes into a hat. And not only is Waukegan, Illinois doing this, but you remember Chicago had did their big giveaway of fuel cards. I think it was like 5,000 participants as well. So it looks like the state of Illinois in in general is just doing where you can receive gas cars. I know in my state in Alabama, in Coleman, they are doing where you can get a gas card. Now with that one, you must contact the United Way and the United Way is requiring you to get a referral. So I would say like if you're in any other state, definitely like check with your United Way and see if they're giving out any fuel cards. Check with like your township centers. You can also dial 211 as well, but I mean, the gas cars, they're still out there. I mean, it's probably enough just to get you, you know, to your doctor's appointments for the week. But hey, you know, it's better than nothing. And all you have to do is just fill out an application. All right. So that's what we have regarding field cards. Let me know if you have won a field card, if you have gotten a field card, or if your state is offering one down below, because we can always learn from each other, right? Right. <laughs> 
right guys so next we are headed to texas where right now over 300,000 applications are waiting to be approved by snap now we discussed like right now there's a huge backlog when it comes to the snap program one they don't have a lot of staff but this is not just going on in texas it's in florida it's in a lot of other states and where a lot of parents are saying hey they are waiting more than six or eight months to receive their food stamps on their card now in texas they were talking about where a lot of people are going to try to recertify or even just get approved for SNAP benefits for the first time. And they're like, look, we have over 332 applications that are still being or waiting to be processed in the state of Texas. Let me know if any of my subscribers fall into this category. I know before I was doing like a weekly update when it came to Florida, but honestly, I'm not sure how the Department of Human Services are going to remedy these options. I know in Florida, they had started hiring more people, but then you got to get them trained up. And then you have other people who have been, you know, sending in their certification documentation since like March and April and they are waiting. So let me know if you are in Texas, that you know of the backlog? How long have you been waiting? What do y'all think can be done regarding this? Because I mean, it's not just happening in Texas. It's not just happening in Florida. It's happening all across America. And with children going back to school between August and September, people need their benefits. So yeah, this is a story that is coming out of Texas. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. And for the last story of the day, we're going to discuss Social Security. Now, this is not really a big update, but guys, it's making a lot of new circulation just because at the end of August, this is when they kind of do the test on like the last quarter on what social security increase will be come October. So we know that there's been inflation all year long and now experts are saying that this can go up to like 10.5% this year. Now we know like last year, I think it was 5.9%, which was the highest increase in about 40 years. But these prices between gas and food and everything, the new estimate is saying, hey, 10.5%, which they're saying it could be about an additional up to $300. So for some people, $195 to $300. Now, with that being said, we know that last year, even though the high increase came, there was a, also an increase when it came to like Medicare B, Medicare D as well. So there was pretty much like a wash. Let me know what do you guys think about the 10.5 increase for Social Security? Um, I mean, I'm just telling you guys like, I don't know like everything is so expensive i mean yes you get an increase but then it's not like you really get to keep the dollars in your pocket because now you're spending more when it comes to food you're spending more to get around you're just spending more when it comes to utilities as well so let me know all the things down below let me know how you've been doing and let me know what you think about this social security increase should it be higher than 10.5 percent are you looking forward to it or not and that is it guys this is all that we have going on in the snap program let me know down below are you still looking for a fuel card do you want snap the snap program to continue into next school year which will be 2022 2023 what do you think about the summer pandemic ebt what do you just think about the programs being scarce right now like yeah even though we're not in a pandemic um inflation is still going up okay so let me know all the things and what do you think about the social security increase do you think it's going to be 10.3% or not. Nah. And as always, grab a copy of my ebook for $14.97. As well as if you're an EBT recipient, grab some Amazon Prime. And yeah, I mean, it's free for 30 days. And let me know what y'all been up to because your girl only sees you like weekly now, right? So let me know what's been going on in your life. And you know, I can go ahead and reply back and I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye guys.